Um, hello, everyone, and welcome to our talk about Fedora websites and apps revamp objective updates. This is a Fedora Council objective about planning, designing, and engineering our websites and web applications, which happen to be our face to the entire world. I'm Akash Deepthar. I work with the Red Hat Community uh, Platform Engineering team as my day job, doing things related to initiatives, infrastructure and release uh, engineering. In nighttime, I don a vigilante mask, and I go out there to be the objective lead for this team, as well as an objective representative in the Federal Council. I'll now hand it over to Graham for him to tell a bit about himself. Over to you. Cool. Thanks for that, actually. Um, give me a thumbs up if you can hear me. Yep. Yep. Cool. Sorry. First time presenting through Hopin, so a bit of a, a bit of a newbie here. So uh, bear with. Thanks very much. So yes, my name is Graham White. Uh, Following Akash Deep lead, then so by day I work for IBM. I'm an IBM research employee. Um, now I guess for the purposes of this um, talk, that's not so interesting. So I'll talk a little bit more about what I'm doing inside Fedora. Uh, so I guess um, most of what I do Fedora-wise is also actually inside IBM. So I, I lead a community of Fedora users within the um, sort of the, the firewalls of IBM for, for people running the desktop, but. Uh, I've more recently got involved as part of uh, Ben Cotton's program management team, um, and through that, getting involved with the websites and apps uh, team as well. So, uh, yeah, happy to be here in, in sort of those two dual roles today. Um, so, actually, and I are going to split this uh, presentation deck between the two of us. Um, so, I'm just going to give you a little bit of an intro, and then I'll hand back to actually. So, first of all, who we are, I guess one of the things to say in this um, first couple of slides is that it's kind of really difficult to name everybody, right? The community is quite big. Um, so uh, apologies if you've been left out, but we've, we've tried to sort of pick some of the main names that have been involved, um, certainly in the period that I've been getting involved in this um, over the last few months. Um, so my involvement started back in about December, I think, actually, uh, to try and sort of bring some of the program management side of things to the websites and apps team uh, in general. Um, Actually, it's obviously been involved for somewhat longer than that as part of some of the objectives that we'll talk about. Um, and we've been getting some great support from uh, Marie and uh, Vipul along the way as well. We are roughly split into three sub teams. Um, the lines, I guess, are possibly slightly blurred between these teams, but these are sort of the broad kind of pillars that we are operating within, within the overall websites and apps team. Uh, so the rest of the deck is actually going to talk you through these teams and, and what we're doing in, in each of them. So we've got the uh, engineering team and the stakeholders team that uh, actually is going to cover in a little bit more detail. We've got points of contact for those uh, from uh, Francois and Omarop on the engineering side and uh, Pavel and Timothy on the stakeholders team. And we've also got the objective co-leads team, which is the one that I sort of uh, originally joined for the, uh, the management side as well as the sort of engineering side as well. Um, so that's led by myself and Akash Deep overall. Um, so hopefully, so as we go through the deck, we will sort of give you an idea about what these teams are doing and how they integrate with each other in a little bit more detail. But obviously, please do fire away if you've got any any questions about any of this, and we'll see if we can get to, to those at the end. We've um, got, got a sort of small set of slides here, so we'll have plenty of time for questions um, by the time we finish. Um, so actually, back over to you. Thank you, Dan. Over to the next slide. Um, let us talk a bit about the engineering sub team. This team is responsible for developing and maintaining websites and applications, performing UI UX reviews and organizing meetings every week to discuss about these jobs. And we also mentor new contributors so that it's not just us who are doing these stuff, but we also find people who continue on from wherever we leave off. So what we have been up to, uh, we have been discussing our plans about providing platforms for new people to do so as well, be it Fedora Chat or Jitsi, a lot. As soon as new releases come out, what we do is we check our localizations, make sure that it is up to date. We update the links and digest or disk images, you know, our provide provisions of Fedora Linux, mark and remove beta releases as and when they are needed. And then finally, about onboarding contributors, we make sure that they feel welcome to stay back and to contribute. They can begin with starting providing suggestions. And then when they're comfortable, they can actually start writing some code or some designing mockups. There are a lot of ways to contribute to the Federal Websites and Apps team. Moving on to the next slide. The things that we have been up to also include 
onboarding contributors, like I told before. And talking about onboarding contributors, what we have been doing is some mentorship. Over the course of last one year, the team has mentored two outreach interns to help build and maintain websites and applications. So I'm going to take this opportunity to thank Michael, Franchoa, and Anurag for mentoring these interns, and thank you, Shubhangi and Ojong, who have been these uh, you know the interns who selected for the project as a mentoring organization of their choice. And with continuous participation in every Fedora Linux project event and platform, now be it a release party or Nest with Fedora, we have been trying to make sure that we are more and more visible to people. So our plans are continually communicated upon on discussions FPO. You can find them over there. And our updates are constantly updated on uh, the com blog. And for the greater community, they would know what we are up to and they can totally reach out to us if they want to be a part of our team. Finally, we have been working towards revamping our applications. Now, talking about revamping our application, I have something that I would like to share with you folks. So this is the mode staging uh, that we have been uh, working on for a bit now. It's a bit rough around the edges, so handle it gently, but it's something that's coming very soon. And well, did I tell you about the dark mode that it has? If you take it, uh, take a look. Moving on to the next thing. Uh, next slide, please. Right. So, what do we plan to do next? Uh, of course, all the things that we have been up to before, we plan to do more of those stuff. Probably add some more stuff on the list. But more specifically, we want to continue maintaining our projects websites, applications, we want to maintain them in the state that they are in. And when time comes, we would want to update them. Then improving our response time for our tickets, websites being our face to Fedora Linux is something that we should actively maintain. And we think that we could do a bit better in improving our response times to the tickets that people create. Finally, we would resume our mentorship efforts to onboarding more contributors making sure that they know where to reach out to, be it people or documentation. Right, over to the next slide. So this is the QR code that you can scan. I'm going to copy paste the link to the channel that the website's engineering team makes use of. Totally feel free to open it up and join us over there. We'd love to know what you think about and what ideas that you have that you want to share with us. Moving on to our next section. Let's talk a bit about the website's revamp stakeholders team. This team is responsible for looking into the designing uh, aesthetics, making a style guide for our ecosystem applications and websites, trying to make sure that they look consistent, planning the websites and application strategy, and centering on the tech stack that people would want to make use of for implementing all of these stuff. Moving on to the next slide. So what has this team been up to? Like the engineering team, this team has been active and having their own sets of meetings. And their chat channels have been active as well to discuss stuff. Led by Maureen Duffy, we have had many interns from Red Hat to help us with uh, mock-ups and all the shiny stuff that they have been coming up with for our website's reboot. Now, these mock-ups were something that we have been actively posting on discussions FPO, on Comblog, and we have been reaching out for reviews from people. And you can be sure as hell that those reviews have been worked upon. Moving on to the next slide. Right, so discussions. To make sure that people know about what the team is up to and the designs, it's not just a survivorship base, uh, bias of the people who are the part of the team, but we take into account the reviews that's out there from the entire community. The team has been instrumental in documenting what they do uh, on these sites. And we have stakeholders from the workstation group, design team, KDE SIG, Neuro Fedora, and from many other SIGs who have been coming together and providing their views on these mockups before they go out in public. And just like in the engineering team, we represent that sub team in federal project events, be them release parties or nest. We make sure that this team has an active representation as well. Now, finally, moving on to the things that we plan to do next, for the team. 
Right. So it's as simple as three things. It's kind of a marketing gimmick right now, right? If you want to make something simple, we just tell that it's three easy steps. So talking about three easy things, we want to make sure that uh, we have more mockups. We have more discussions on these mockups so that we know what exactly needs to be implemented and more improvements on the discussions that were done on the mockups. It sounds easy to start with, but I know the kind of effort that the, the revamp team has put in to making this thing happen. So kudos to them. Moving on to the next slide. So here's the QR code that you can scan to be the part of the uh, revamp team. It's a stakeholder team where people from a variety of six sub projects, sub teams uh, come together to express their views. If you want to take a look at what the UI UX team comes up with, feel free to be a part of it. I'm going to copy paste the link to it in the chat section right now. Now, for the next sections, I'm going to pass it back to Graham. Over to you. Great. Okay. Thanks for that, Akashi. Uh, so I'm just going to finish off with uh, a little bit of a chat around the uh, objective co-leads, and this is the third of the three teams that we introduced you to. So this team, uh, as you can see here, is responsible really for sort of um, organizational uh, responsibilities across both teams. So we, we try and sort of um, sort of straddle, if you like, uh, the, the two teams that um, Akashdeep has just talked around. Um, so as well as trying to sort of keep a handle on those two sub-teams, um, we also try and push forward with some of the objectives that the Cody's team was originally set up for. So I'm conscious there are people on the call that have been involved in the uh, objective of this than much longer than myself. But my understanding is that it was originally set up uh, to try and revamp the entire sort of website um, ecosystem and encourage more participation um, and get uh, more people involved. So we are also sort of keeping one eye on those sorts of goals as well. Uh, so the things that we have been up to in this team, uh, again, like all of the other sub-teams, we have been participating in discussions. So we have our own matrix channel uh, where people can reach out to us um, from, from a sort of overall leadership and program management perspective for, for this kind of whole website and apps area. Uh, we also, sort of, we say here sort of introspect the, the, the team's current state. So that's sort of a, a posh way, I guess, of saying sort of keeping an eye on what's going on, making sure that, um, the outputs of the tasks are conforming to the objectives that we've set out and the teams are continuing to um, to have and, and make an impact um, to basically sort of drive us all forwards and point us all in the same direction so that uh, um, obviously we're all sort of collaborating properly. Um, obviously then we collaborate with those sub-teams as well. So um, I, th I think certainly most of the uh, Coley's team, certainly the sort of current Coley's team are also involved in the other two teams that actually just talked through. Um, so we're sort of integrated members across both of those teams, but sort of providing that kind of higher level leadership layer as well. As I say, that keeps us all sort of on the straight and narrow for um, making sure all the teams are, are together. So what we've been up to, we've um, it's got, sort of got quite a few different actions that we have been looking at. Uh, the main one I've sort of cut and pasted onto the screen here is the project inventory. And this is something that I started looking at when I joined the team back in December. Um, so thinking about it from a pure websites and apps perspective um, and the team that are looking after the websites and apps, um, my sort of immediate question was, okay, so what are these websites and apps then? And uh, which ones of those are we looking after? Uh, and that sort of led to the idea of creating uh, an inventory, which I've started here. So this is very much early days work in progress. There's this sort of part of the screenshot that I've pasted here from a, from a Google spreadsheet. Um, so we've got something in the order of 40, 41 websites throughout the Fedora ecosystem uh, that as part of that sort of program management role, I'd like to be able to review um, both in terms of necessity content, who they're aimed at, and then start to fill out some of the other fields you can see in the table in terms of, okay, so if someone wants to contribute to this, how do they do it? Where do they go find the source code? Who might they talk to in order to be able to contribute and get up to speed? Um, and so, this is, let's say, very much work in progress. If you want to get involved in this kind of effort, please do get in touch with me um, uh, with the idea that at some point we'll produce some piece of documentation or a, or a web page that summarizes this um, in a way that makes it 
easier uh, and hopefully reduces the barrier to entry for people getting involved in the websites and apps community um, and specifically around you know, certain websites that they might, might want to target if there's a, a bug or a new piece of content or something they think they want to um, add or, or update. Uh, okay, so the second thing was designing the infographic. So we've got Marie to thank for that. That was something that we published on the com blog uh, a few weeks back, um, which really sort of sets out the um, those sort of three pillars that we've talked about for the three teams and um, what each of those teams is working on. So um, please go look out the, uh, the com blog for that. That was um, sort of a really nice infographic that we can thank Marie for. So um, yeah, thanks very much for that. Um, and again, like with all of the other teams that we've talked about, we are trying to make ourselves more visible um, and represent ourselves within the community. So, um, you know, here we are at the Federal 36 release party, you know, talking about what the objective uh, co-leads team is doing as well as the other teams as well. So planning and looking uh, for what we are thinking about going forward into the future is, um, I, I guess it's sort of almost more of the same in terms of continuing to implement the objectives that we've set out um, and we'll continue to evaluate what those objectives are. Uh, I, I, I guess at some point we may decide that they are complete um, and just go forwards with the engineering side of things, but we'll also be keeping an eye on the overall kind of health of the team and the community to make sure that we're still trying to get people uh, involved, uh, keep reducing that barrier to entry that I was talking about um, and make sure that it's um, easy to get involved, easy to contribute, and, and people are willing, happy, and engaged within this community. Uh, and the final one is that we've been looking at how to promote and incentivize that participation as well. So we've had various different discussions, particularly around things like um, adding badges to the badge program um, and making sure that people are, again, sort of um, are involved in that sort of happy and incentivized community that, uh, that there's some form of uh, reward for uh, that participation as well. So we also have uh, a QR code, um, Akashdeep, I'm going to struggle to cut and paste this out of full screen mode. So if you'd be so kind as to um, put a link to this into the chat as well, that'd be great. Um, so please sure do thing. come on and join us uh, for the discussions in this channel as well. Okay, um, so there's one last thing that we sort of didn't emphasize that we're going to talk about, we've got a slide for which is to say that we are sort of actively looking at and reviewing and updating the documentation for this. Um, so that's also part of that uh, effort towards making it easier to get involved, reducing those barriers to entry, making sure that um, the operation of the team is, is documented. So um, what we do, how we do it, when we're having meetings, where the meeting minutes are, all that kind of stuff, but also the other side of you know, how do I get involved in maintaining or updating a website? Um, if there was a contributor that, that wanted to try and get involved to, to help with any of that side of things as well. Okay, so that really concludes our talk. And I guess, um, Akashdeep, if you're ready, we can open up for questions. Yep, uh, we do have one question from Edward. Um, Edward asks if there is a roadmap for apps that will be refactored or that we will take care of. We shouldn't be asking for stuff that are planned to be worked on, like the calendar and the ambassador's map. Right, so uh, the thing is, uh, we are deciding upon on the basis of usage. If the application is more sought upon, say for instance, mode, most of our meetings that happen are on ISCs and on uh, on text. So it all it almost made sense that we would want to revamp that application first before we move on to something else. So in the likes of that, we might want to consider revamping badges next. Yeah, I guess um, that's answering your question. Yeah, okay, I, I think there's probably something to say about the revamp effort here as well in terms of, um, I, I think our, our near term roadmap is to have the engineering team work in, I guess you call it maintenance mode. So keep the current websites and apps updated as they are running operational content updated where necessary. Um, and when that revamp effort concludes to give us a new set of designs, then the engineering team will be able to be set into action to implement those designs. And I think it's at that point, we'll probably have a clearer roadmap about um, going forwards for what we're doing in terms of the implementations of the revamp designs that we've seen. Um, and we can also have discussions at the Cody's level about the um, the other things that maybe haven't been revamped and whether we, you know, what we want to work on next from that perspective as well. 
Makes sense, yeah. Folks, don't think we need to ask more questions if you have any. And like always, you can reach us out to the chat, the link of the chat section that we just shared with you folks. Don't think we need to join us and uh, get your perspectives. I think this is looking good then, actually. Steve. Either we're doing an amazing job and nobody has any questions because we've answered them all, or we've, or we've scared everyone off. It looks like it. Yep. I, I really hope that's not the uh, latter is not the case. I'd yes. pretty much prefer the former. Oh, so Edward happens to be working on the calendar application. Edward, please feel free to join us and we might be able to help you with that. And together, who knows, we might be able to revamp that application next. Thank you so much for attending. Thank you for being here. Really appreciate it.